What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Premium Aquatics and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the HOG1 from Santa Monica Filtration. What's going on guys, we're back with another video and if you're new to what we're doing here, this is where we take a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision whether or not that product is right for you and your reef tank. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. Now today we're gonna to be taking a look at the HOG Hang On Glass Allergy Scrubber from Santa Monica Filtration. We're going to be doing a quick unboxing and setup of this product, and then we're gonna do a follow-up video in a couple of weeks and show you how well this product works. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Santa Monica Filtration HOG one also known as the upflow allergy scrubber now we're going to do a quick unboxing and then we're going to install this on my 220 gallon and run it for seven days and see how it operates now in this video all we're going to be doing is the unboxing and the initial setup and i'll be doing a quick update video for you folks uh, so you can see how well this actually works now i already opened it up and took a peek i'm sorry i cheated first things first right on top you have the santa monica filtration it has all of the hog model numbers and some quick instructions which i always encourage you guys to fully read the instructions prior to using anything and then we have the hog one now this does require an air pump and we're gonna go ahead and take that out of the box all right so we do have the hog one which it comes with the airline that's taped to the back of the part that goes inside the tank and you have some blackout cloth in between it and there's some, some instructions taped to the unit itself all right so the instructions here are to unscrew the two units apart when you're removing the cardboard as opposed to uh, just pulling it and bending the unit gently remove them because those magnets are very strong inside that all right so this blackout cloth that comes with it is basically when you're first starting to use this product you want to cover up one of the led lights until the allergy starts to grow and then you remove it and then use both lights so you can kind of give the allergy the full power of the two three watt red leds and really boost that growth the leds are powered by a brick which is that coming apart yep so you got your little power brick here good length of cord so you don't really have to worry about that so here on the part that goes on the inside of the tank you have your airline which is connected here through the top and how you can discern the top from the bottom is the top has this little hole that you can see right there where the air bubbles are escaping and then the airline runs down behind the surface area and behind these right here so what happens is water is being sucked in through the bottom on the sides and bubbles are being pushed up through the top on this textured surface that you have here uh, what happens is the algae starts to grow on this white surface and once a week you're going to want to take this out of the tank uh, take a toothbrush to it clean it up and depending on how fast it's growing is how often you're going to clean it on this side which is the dry side you have again magnets siliconed into the edge of the container and then you have heat sinks running here on the side and then two led lights these are red led lights that are three watt now the magnets that are on these containers are good for glass that is up to a half inch thick so that's going to work for most hobbyists and i'm going to be installing this in my sump and running it for seven days to see how well it actually works for my system and if it needs to go a little bit longer than that because the allergy is not quite growing then that's what we'll have to do so what we're going to go ahead and do is get this set up in my sump and run it for seven days and then i'll do a follow-up video showing you guys how well this works so first things first let's take this tape off the back by the looks of it you have just over two feet of airline tubing uh, so that's something that you're going to want to keep in mind if you need to get more it kind of naturally just wants to stick right to the glass which is interesting Take our airline, put it into the airline pump. And then when you're installing the dry side, which has the LEDs, you're going to want to have that power cord facing down. 
You have a good amount of cord here, five feet of power cord. So I'm gonna be plugging this into a controller and I'm gonna be running this light about 18 hours a day. I might try to run it 24 hours a day until the allergy actually starts to grow then kind of dial it back depending on how fast the allergy is going actually you know what i'm going to do i'm going to let the allergy tell me what it wants for lighting if it needs 24 hours it's going to get 24 hours if i can dial it back a little bit we'll do that as well that looks to be like a good amount of flow i'm getting bubbles on both sides of the container now we'll plug in the lights take our blackout cloth place that over one of the LED lights until that allergy starts to grow all right so we have installed the HOG one hang on the glass upflow algae scrubber from Santa Monica filtration in my sump I'm going to let this blackout curtain sit in there until that algae starts to grow and what we're gonna do from here is let this run for a couple of days and see how well it works. I'll do a quick follow-up video, kind of check in and see how well the HOG1 is removing nutrients from my system. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you wanna take a look at the HOG1 allergy scrubber from Santa Monica Filtration, there's a link down in the description below that'll take you to Premium Aquatics, where you can do some more research or even pick one up for yourself. That's gonna do it for today. I wanna thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you next time right here with a brand new video.